you say that, like, in terms of street smart, do you get a do you get people that respect that, or what's the response when you try and sell this to bars and things like that? The the clubs and stuff, it's not so hard. I I find um, like getting gigs is isn't too difficult. Um, I think right now that what I'm really wanting to do and trying to do is get, uh, you know, I, I spent like five years just recording. I, I didn't go out and play very much during that period. I had a couple, I did, well, I did shows, but um, they, weren't, they weren't advertised a lot. And I just kind of would, people would say, oh, can you do this? And I'd say, okay. Like I'm playing this Saturday night and someplace in Scarborough. People are always like, where are you playing? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> someplace but in Scarborough. If you look I'll, it up I'll on sure. Facebook, yeah, on yeah. if you join my Facebook band page, you can find out where I'm playing all the time. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I'm looking for someone probably to make a new, uh, upgrade my website. The guy that did the website and stuff for me, he was fantastic. But he's um, he's so busy now. He's doing shooting a lot of big bands. Like he's doing a lot of big concerts. He just did the MMVAs and stuff. Oh, awesome! So he's got he just doesn't have time to concentrate on these. Like he does little updates on my website. But I'm looking more for someone that can help me make like an interactive website where I can do like. Um, this like I can blog on there yeah. and say this is what I'm doing this is what's yeah, going exactly. on <clears throat> anyway so what was okay, the question people, you heard I don't know um, you go what so you're, you've got a gig coming up in Scarborough yeah so I'm actually gonna help her with the sound and she said well you know you might as well do a set so I'm gonna who's that um, I just met her her name is Carmen Tom oh, at the Grover the Grover yeah See, how do you know all this stuff? I guess that's your job. T rocks. <laughs> Add it. It's, why is that not allowed? No, it's allowed if, if you say so. I don't mind. Stephen Lackey you let me get a, I guess it's a cameo. Yeah. So that was a weird one because I said, I, I never turn the camera on myself. No? No. I don't mind. Hi, everybody. So, uh, okay, so I sat at the Grove. Right, because she's doing kind of a, an open mic or variety kind of set thing. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah, jammed with her before. Have you? Yeah. There'll be jugglers there and, Come on. and, and fire breathing dragons and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> a unicorn, maybe? What? Come on, fire breathing dragons. <laughs> Just making it up. Oh, all of it? No jugglers either? Probably not. Oh, you're yeah, such a wise acre. <laughs> a wise acre? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I heard it on Green Acres or something. <laughs> the Beverly Hillbillies or something. Um, so, this is fun. I had the. I got that at. I bought it at Walmart. The whole first season or something of the Beverly Hillbillies. You're kidding me. I'd never seen that. It was so funny. It's great. Jethro was my favorite. It's jokes. I, I, I tried to I tried to eat that much cereal once. Why he ate a lot of cereal? Yeah, he would pour his cereal in a real big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> of course he was a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like when he'd always say, let's go for a swim in the cement pond. The cement pond. Anyway, yeah, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, I, I still got those kind of things, but I, I'd like, you know, to get some, I'm getting the album printed right now. It's called The Best So Far, and I'm gonna get, I'm getting copies made, and I'm gonna vlog them at the shows, and that sort of thing, and I, um, so if there's any labels out there that would like to help, that's what I need. I'm looking for a label to uh, pick this stuff up, and yeah, so that's, so we're working on a little bit of everything, a little bit of the web design. Yeah. Uh, I need a bass player. Well, I've got a bass player, actually. Oh, I need do. A... I, I don't really need a band. Like, these guys are ready to oh, go. Okay. But um, I may basically need, uh, I, I need the shows to be lined up, like, for a whole band, and I need uh, more promo. 
Yeah. That's why this is great. That's, I really appreciate okay. this. I got, the, I got the promo down maybe soon. Acoustic for the summer. That'll be the sixth. The sixth. The okay, fifth so one fifth is the compilation. It's the comp one, yeah. Okay, so what else should we talk about? Well, that one's going to be, as I say, it's going to be a bunch of songs either that I didn't finish. I had a lot of stuff that I just never got done. And um, so I'm going to concentrate on getting, getting as much of that. I mean, that's, we'll see how much time I have. It's probably going to take six months because they usually take a while. Sure. You start doing the basic bear tracks and then it's like, okay, this is not quite the way I thought it would be. Mm, then, yeah. yeah, so, but I, I'm excited. I, I like the idea of recording and I, I'm even, I'd be down just to sell some of my music as well because I write so much mm -hmm. that I'm thinking that's another option that I'm gonna look into. Like Taxi and some of these companies. Cool. So you're looking for that balance, the gigging and the recording and selling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I go on the road, I won't be recording. I won't be recording right now, but that would be fine. Okay. I know my drummer's ready to go, and I, I know another bass player that's ready to go. So it's just having the work. And we've got like a whole bunch of cover tunes too, so we could cover a night playing that kind of music. So anything that's gonna pay the bills yeah. and so be out there playing. What are your favorite cover tunes that you do? Uh, we do that song, we do like punky versions of some of the new songs. Like we do Boom Clap, that sounds pretty cool. And what's some of the other new Oh, we do X's and O's. Cool. And... That suits you. Yeah, that's kind of like... My... A drummer I was playing with said, you should do this song. He heard it on the radio and he said, that's totally you. That's totally you. So, I don't know. It's hard to, like, judge what you are or what people think of you until... Yeah. I don't know. I just write the stuff and record it. I don't really know what how people are going to take it or how they judge me. And I don't, you know, I don't really, I don't care. I just do what I do, right? It's not, I mean, I care that they like it. I want them to like my music, but um, I don't really know what style it is. It's open for interpretation. I guess so. Everyone's music is, right? I don't know if it's really like top 40. I, I don't know if, if it's more punky. Maybe it's more punky. There's a lot of really good indie bands, yeah. That's a really good, um, yeah, I thought this summer I would be, I, I got tied down with that heart thing for a while. A couple months. Nine months. Was it? Uh, almost, I think. It's like enough to make a baby. It was a long time, yeah. Anyway, it's all, it's all good. I think was really nice and and everybody that I played with they were all very cool. Yeah, all great guys. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I wish them all the best, I'm sure. They'll oh, do yeah. fine. <laughs> I I just I reached that point where it was taking up so much of my time. I didn't really want to devote that much to it anymore. Yeah. You so, got to take Teresa hard on the road. That's really what I want to be doing. Just Teresa just trees. <laughs> yeah, I should call it just hard. <laughs> Only with one, with an A and no E. No E, just hard. Mm. <laughs> you get that name recognition. Yeah. No, so, I don't think that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just having fun. It's all good. Yeah, I don't mean that. No. I wouldn't. Peace. 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 Yeah, so... Yeah, it's all good. I'm just gonna like keep doing my thing and um, just seeing what what's gonna work. And um, you know, the Facebook page. Please join my Facebook page and uh, send me your email address so I can let you know when I'm playing and that kind of stuff. 
and all the albums are for sale on iTunes and you can listen to them on SoundCloud a lot of the music and I do have old videos on YouTube <clears throat> when I first got this place I did a lot of recording of me just jamming on the guitar so they, they weren't even really songs a lot of it was just I would use my loop pedal and I would just solo but then when I started recording I stopped doing that and so I haven't really done anything like that that much I did a version of Hotline Bling um, a few months ago and recorded that here. And so um, that was about the last thing that I did. We shot a video here last week. What song? With the new, with the new band. We did um, the version of I Want Your Fire that was on, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was on might have been on La La La. I can't remember what album it was on. Anyway, it was the old version of I Want Your Fire, not the remix. Mm -hmm. And so the drummer really liked it. So we did that. And we also did um, a song from the new album, The Best Of, that's never been released actually. It's called Take a Trip. And it's in 7 4. And when I heard her play it, I was like just blown away. I'm like, oh, I've got this song. She goes, let me hear it. And she heard it, and, and I said, can you play like it's set and four? She's like, oh, yeah. And she just like started playing right along with it. Okay. That's when I said, okay, you're the drummer for sure. That's great. So we recorded Take a Trip and a couple other ones, did a few covers too. So we're going to use that for like a promo video. All right, well, anything else you want to say before we say ciao for now? Uh, I guess that's, you can email me at Teresa Hart Music, Teresa Hart Music at gmail.com. Awesome. And it's no H in Teresa, and no, no E no in, in Hart. Hart. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, so awesome. let your freak flag Fly. Can you say that three times? And uh, yeah, keep rocking everybody. Thank you for this time. And thanks to Billy Z for having me on his show. Uh, no thanks for being on Musicians in Bars Getting Beer. Cheers, Teresa. Cheers.